there so I can do a nice one. Oh, Hendrix, I could do with a gin. But no, sober toba, sober toba. Hi guys, welcome back. So today is going to be the first in a bit of a Christmas gift series that I'm doing on my channel here and I'll probably be doing some bits and bobs over on the blog as well so I'll link that below if you are interested. Yes, I know it's October and I'm saying the C word but it's only a couple of months away now and that time is going to go so quickly and for me personally I have to be so organised with gifts and things for Christmas because I have my mum's birthday, my husband's birthday in November and then I have my dad's birthday and my uh, brother's girlfriend's birthday in December so I have like four birthdays in the meantime those people will all get Christmas presents as well so I just have to be kind of organized with it all so um, I thought it would be fun to do some like Christmas gift things so I'm going to be looking at um, Brown's Christmas gift sets I'm going to do some gift guides things like that let me know if there's anything in particular you want to see or you're really interested in um, I'm probably not going to do advent calendars just because it's not that I don't like them I just I don't always think they're worth the money, personally, but that's just me. Anyway, that's what we're going to be doing, so if you like that kind of video, this kind of, you know, you like your Christmas gift guides, then please make sure you give this a big thumbs up, but don't forget to hit that subscribe button because there are also going to be a couple of giveaways through this series and you have to be subscribed to enter, so make sure you hit that, and without further ado, let's get started. So the first brand I'm going to be talking about is The Body Shop. For a couple of reasons. One, I friggin' love the Body Shop. I just think their products are such high quality for the price that they are. You don't, it just shows you don't have to spend out for the quality of products that they kind of give. I know some of their other products can be a bit on the higher scale, but a lot of their like body things and their Christmas sets are pretty affordable. So every year what they tend to do is they bring out a few, a couple different new um, Christmas scents or scents for Christmas um, and what I've done is I've picked up all three of the new ones, we're gonna smell them, we're gonna see what they're like. I just realised the flaw in my plan. I have a cold at the moment. Sure, I can still smell them, right? Yeah, I can still smell them, it's fine. My cold is kind of going so I can smell things again, so we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So yeah, so I picked up their three uh, little gift sacks that they do with three cents. Um, so these are £18 each. Um, they also do like mini versions that are in like little houses that are about £9 each that have got like three little things in them. Um, and then they've also you can get the three body butters in a gift set for these scents. And then there's other things like um, a lip balm um, gift set. There's gift sets for like their kind of normal all year round scents. Um, and they also have three advent calendars as well, which again, I'm not gonna, I haven't purchased, so I'm probably not gonna look like not look at, I have looked at them, uh, I'm not going to like do on here, um, just because I was looking at them and the one that I think would actually be worth the money is like the 90 odd pound one and I can't be asked to spend that money on an advent calendar, it just seems silly. So yeah, we're going to be opening these through today, we are going to be seeing what products are in here, we're going to be looking at the scents um, and I'll let you know which ones are my favourite and if I think that is worth like the 18 pound for one of these to give us a gift. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. So. The three scents that they have this year, they're all very like sweetie based. So this one in the lovely green, very festive bag is um, Peppermint Candy Cane. Yep, Peppermint Candy Cane. So I am guessing this is going to be quite minty. I'm not sure how I feel about minty body stuff. But it seems like it's a little bit of a theme this year. I know um, Zoella Beauty's fragrance has got vanilla and peppermint, which I am going to be doing as well. Um, that is on its way here. So it'll be interesting to see how the two scents differ. So I'll probably look at that in the Zoella one. Um, but yes, we've got this one. We have this one, which I think is the one I'm looking forward to most, which is Berry Bonbon. Um, they did um, something very similar last year. They did frosted berries last year so I still have um, a couple of bits left over from that. I've got their, their hand cream here. I've got like 20 different body shop hand creams so don't take this with the fact that it hasn't been used much. It's mainly because I have like 20 of the things and I'm obsessed with the vanilla pumpkin one at the moment. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'll be interested to see how the scent differs to last year's berry Christmas scent to see if it is the same or not. Um, and then the third and final one, let's put that down, is um, vanilla marshmallow. I don't know how I feel about that. Vanilla scents I'm okay with. Like, I, if it's just vanilla, I'm just a bit like, meh, it's a little bit boring. Um, but like their vanilla pumpkin one they've got this year for like autumn, oh, so nice, so good. Um, so if like vanilla's mixed with something, then I'm usually okay with it. But um, we will see what this is like. So yeah, 
The one I'm gonna, I'm not gonna fully open all three of them because they've all got the same products in them, just with different scents. And then what I'll do is I'll just scent, I'll scent like a dog. I'll just like smell a product from each of the other two packs. But the one I'm gonna open is the Brave Bomb One, Bomb Bomb One, just because out of the three, this one does seem a little bit more like it would be more my speed, more my scent. Um, I do love berry fragrances. I do love like things that are quite sweet. Um, so yeah, we're going to see. I do love these bags, I think they're really sweet, but I also like the fact that two out of three of them aren't particularly like really Christmassy themed, so you could use these for other things throughout the year. The um, candy cane one is quite Christmassy, um, but I feel like this would be like a really, it's a really nice like little gift way to give a gift, and I like that there's not like loads of excess plastic or packaging and stuff, it's basically this and they get that, so I really like these, I think they're a great idea. So you get four products in here, you get a hand cream, so this is going to be 23 hand creams that I now own from the Body Shop, like, okay, 20 is a bit of an exaggeration, but there's a fair few. Um, so yeah, we've got a very bonbon hand cream, we have a, and that's a full size hand cream, I believe that's, so yeah, this is the same size as like my vanilla pumpkin ones, I think like the hemp ones, like the hemp one in that range, they're like bigger ones, but these that come in like their normal kind of all year round scents are generally this size, which is 30ml. Um, we then have a 60ml shower gel, so a little mini shower gel. We have a 50ml body butter, which is obviously one of their hero products. Everybody loves their body butter. I don't think I've ever met anybody that doesn't like their body butters. Um, so we've got like a little kind of mini-ish version of that. Um, and then we also have a exfoliating sugar body scrub. I haven't tried one of their sugar body scrubs. And um, when I, I used to be an at-home rep and they, they were like more creamy scrubs and I wasn't sure about them, I don't think. I'm really fussy with scrubs. But um, yeah, I'm intrigued to see. Oh, it's like, it's like jam. I kind of love it. Oh, that's, that's a good amount of scent going on there. So it is very berry-ish. I'd say it's kind of very, I think I'm getting raspberries, I'm really bad at describing scents, yeah, I think I'm definitely getting like raspberries in there, um, which I mean I'm guessing by the packaging there are raspberries in there, that's like the kind of dominating flavour, it is quite sweet, I really want to do, compare it with the frosted berries one from last year which looks like it's probably more cranberry. Yeah, so there is definitely a difference to the one from last year. This one, like, the one from this year is definitely, like, you do get, like, a dominating scent of raspberry, which I like, like, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's got some other berries in there as well. It looks like it's got, like, cranberries and some other black type berries in there, which I am obviously not very good at knowing what that is. <laughs> so, I mean, I'll have a look at the bag in a minute, but last year's is not very raspberry at all. I think it is definitely more cranberry and it does have a little bit more kind of it's a little bit more muted I would say um, but no there is definitely a difference so that's good I'm quite glad they didn't just do the same one this year and then just give it a different name so that's good um let me see what is actually in this scent okay so it says it's stuffed with fruity surprises invested infused with zesty refreshing cranberry seed oil from North America um I definitely say it smells more like raspberry than cranberry. I don't really know what cranberry smell. I have cranberry juice, I must know what cranberry smells like. I would say it probably smells more of like raspberries than cranberries for me. Um, that was the thing. Yeah, I do think it's more raspberry than cranberry. I'd say the one from last year is more cranberry than this one. Um, but it is still really nice, I like it. In terms of the products themselves, the sugar scrub it's very like sticky. Ah. But it is nice and scrubby. It does feel a bit like, I don't know how you feel about the consistency of it, but it does literally feel like a sugar scrub. It's, it feels very sugary. So um, yeah, I'm interested to try that because I don't think I've tried their sugar scrub before. Um, and I am peeling from holiday, like my holiday last month at the moment. So um, it'll be a good test. I'm now really greasy. Wipe it on the jeans, wipe it on the jeans. Um, so yeah, we've got the sugar scrub. Um, body butter, I mean, I always like their body butters. I think they're really great. Um, again, like, the scent on that one is milder than the scrub, but I think generally with, like, moisturisers, it does tend to be a little bit milder than, like, other body products. But 
it does obviously have a matching set as well, I do love that body butters. I don't actually mind the fact that you have like a smaller version in this because I find that like with the other ones they're so big I don't actually end up using them all because again I have like a few different scents and I have a few different like moisturisers so I don't ever tend to finish one so I quite like the fact that that's a smaller one. Um, the shower gels, I mean the shower gels are fine, um, there's nothing wrong with them, I think they do shower creams as well which I generally prefer a shower cream to shower gels just because I find shower gels can dry my skin out. Um, but like a little mini one like this is perfect like if you're going away over Christmas or New Year um, or any time over like the next few months then this is always really handy to have. And yeah then we've got the hand cream which like the hand creams are, they're probably my favourite hand creams. Um, I just find that they go like they absorb really quickly really nicely, they're not greasy um, and they do make a huge difference to the condition of my hands. I do kind of always tend to notice if I'm using something else. And yeah, it's like a nice scent that's not going to like bother you throughout the day. So yeah, in terms of what you get for £18, I don't think it's too bad. Like the hand creams are about £5 each anyway. I don't know how much like minis are if you can buy them separately. But if you were to say everything is like £5 each, that's like £20. You do have a bit of a saving there. Um, obviously, I'm guessing that the price is there. Yeah, I would say that it's, it's, it's a nice little gift to get... It's a nice little gift to get someone for £18, I do think it's worth the money, plus you get like the really nice little sack so it's pre presented really well and um, like I said with Body Shop it's all like it's always really good quality. So yeah, so that's the very one, that is really nice. As I said the other two will have exactly the same products in them, um, but we are going to open them up just to see what the scent is like. So I'm going to do the vanilla marshmallow one first. I've got sugar scrub all over my hands, do I have anything to wipe it off on? Tissues. I swear I had tissues in here. Ah, tissues. I think quite like that they've gone for like a sweet. I like that they've gone for a theme this year, like a sweet theme, like bonbons, marshmallows, candy canes. I think that's quite nice. All of our products, just in like the more kind of muted vanilla style packaging. Um, in terms of the scent, I'm going to open the scrub because I feel like that had the strongest scent out of all of the products. It's not just vanilla, it's got like, I feel like it's got a little bit of a spice to it, which is probably what kind of maybe makes it more like marshmallow. Does marshmallow have spice in it? No. But it's nice, it's not just like plain vanilla, there's like a little something extra going on there, um, which I do actually really like. It's a very classic scent vanilla, so I think if you are going to give it to somebody you don't quite know what scents they like or you maybe don't know them as well like vanilla is a pretty safe one to go with so that one's quite nice so infused with vanilla extract um, and creamy seasonal scent of roasted marshmallows so that's probably why I get a little bit of like a maybe spice kind of thing in there there is maybe that's like the little something else it's got a little bit of a roasted thing to it which actually takes the edge of the sweetness of vanilla which I actually really like yeah I like it it is still very sweet do I like it more than very one no, very one is still my favourite. But it is really nice. It is sweet, but it has got like a little cement cement that goes with it, which I think is a nice addition. I really do like these sacks. I think they're such a good idea for like a little Christmas present. As I said, I really do like the fact that it's like, like you can reuse this for something else if you get it as a present. I really like it. Anyway, the last one which I am probably the most sceptical about is Peppermint Candy Cane. As I said, the um, Zoella Beauty Collection this year is vanilla and... Um, peppermint as well so I'd be very interested to compare the two scents to see what they're like. This bag is probably like, I love the look of this bag, I think it's really really lovely. It is very Christmassy so I feel like if you were going to reuse it you could only reuse it at Christmas um, but it's very very nice so yeah let's, let's try out this and see what it, see what it smells like. Yeah so again you have woo, all of four products just in like a lovely kind of greeny um, packaging which you would expect. I love the colour of that. Peppermint candy cane. Um, so again I'm going to open the scrub because it does have like the most scent I think. Oh that's minty. That 
makes me really want to eat a candy cane. That literally is just a pure smell of peppermint. Complete and utterly it is peppermint. Um, for me personally, that's not necessarily my favourite. Um, but I do think like if you have um, somebody who you're buying for that's maybe like likes a little bit like fun scents, like a little bit out there, doesn't always like the conventional, then this is a really nice kind of fun Christmas gift. Um, it is nice, don't get me wrong, it's just it's quite a strong peppermint scent. But yeah, the mint one is not my favourite. I think just because it's the idea of mint on my body is a little bit weird, like mint in the mouth with a toothpaste, yes. Um, but as I said, if you if you know somebody that likes like scents that are a little bit more fun, a little bit more fresh, like that's a very fresh one compared to the other two, um, then that'd be really a good gift for them. Um, and plus the packaging is really cute. So yeah, so that is everything. I do think the berry one is probably my favourite, which is what I was expecting. I know myself so well. Um, I was surprised at how much I liked the vanilla marshmallow one. I thought I was just going to be like, meh. But that like roasted marshmallow scent to it actually really does help kind of tone down the sweetness and just give it a little something extra. Um, and the peppermint one is nice. It's not quite my cup of tea. Um, but if you do like that, then it is quite nice. I'm now really concerned for <laughs> getting the Zola ones because that is all peppermint as well, but we will see. I have a feeling that will be a little bit more toned down, but I will compare the two when I've got them as well to see what they're gonna be like, but yeah. Anyway, that is everything from this video. Let me know which one of these you'd like to pick up, what scent you think would be your favorite. Um, again, like I said, I think they're all nice and I do think they are worth the 18 pounds for what you get for them. So I think they're really nice gifts to give. I would be really happy to receive any of those. Um, and yeah, if you like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. As I said, please don't forget to subscribe because I will be doing giveaways throughout this series. Um, and you do have to be subscribed to enter, so hit that button. And um, yeah, I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.